In January 2011, High Times Magazine put out a special edition to celebrate what issue number? Put down the doobies, kids. It's time for some good old-fashioned magazine learning on this week's Random Knowledge. I'm Geeks You Drink, Chief Editor Christopher Short. Every year, we write 22,000 quiz questions, 20 words each. Some of those stories deserve more time, so we made a video series. We're geeks who drink and we read the This is Random Knowledge. That special 2011 edition was issue 420, duh. But let's go back a little further. When High Times debuted in 1974, it was meant as a one-off Playboy parody with weed instead of boobs, even featuring a centerfold of some lucky dank plant that presumably wanted to rebel against its father. You're not even my real pollen donor! Surprising even themselves, High Times found a big market. By 1978, nearly 4 million people cracked an issue open every month, reading such helpful stories as Dope Super Lawyers, Why Dope Gets You High, and How to Fly Low. By the 1980s, the magazine's focus became much more homegrown, with features such as how to grow 10-pound monster plants. Unfortunately, the growing war on drugs saw many of their advertisers rated by the DEA, desperately harshing everyone's mellow. In 2004, High Times even tried to leave its stoner past behind and become a serious literary magazine. But it only lasted a few months before a famous cover trumpeted, The Buds Are Back. In the era of widespread legalization movements, the buds are not just back, they're back with some serious economic motivations. In September 2018, the magazine began seeking pre-IPO investors, with investment perks kicking in at 420. Match. Average weed smoking investors are in bizarre yet interesting company among a number of B list celebs and politicians. Reggae scion Daimian Marley put five on it, and former Mexican President Vicente Fox is on the board of directors. I'm not gonna pay for that fucking wall. This baked ass brain trust has put out some memorable covers since that lady in the Panama hat considered a magic mushroom in the dying days of the Nixon administration. In 2015, they photoshopped former stoner Barack Obama with a star spangled bong and a big thumbs up calling on the president to legalize now. For some reason, they did not use his old campaign slogan. Fire it up! Ready to go! In May 2003, High Times encouraged women to come out of the cannabis closet, featuring the magazine's first named and fully clothed cover girl, Holly Weed superstar Frances McDormand. I have two words to leave with you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Gravity bomb. Way back in September 1977, gonzo journalist Hunter S. Thompson got the cover. He memorably told the magazine, in order to get in the White House, I had to promise not to call anybody a Nazi cop. Then he said a word that isn't, um, very nice. Though High Times didn't start obsessing over it until 1990, the number 420 entered weed culture parlance three years before the magazine. And if you've ever insisted on sparking up at exactly 4.20 p.m., you'll be glad to know the phrase did indeed originate with the optimal time of day for indulging in that sweet, sweet ganja. Specifically, it was a group of a dozen surprisingly responsible Northern California teenagers called the Waldos, who once told a reporter, the time we got out of school was approximately 3 p.m., but some of us had after-school sports activities that lasted until after 4 p.m. I was gonna make a higher education joke here, but I forgot, man. If you liked this sticky, icky history lesson, you should know that it came from the new Geeks Who Drink book, duh. It's coming out September 3rd, but if you head to geekswhodrink.com slash book promo, you can pre-order it and get a bonus essay emailed right away. Do that and subscribe to this channel so we can meet you back here next week on Random Knowledge. Mm -hmm.